Chenji are coming in, looking like favourites to lift the trophy. There is no way it's where all three of the rear takers got detained. It will be the Red Bull Clutch! One walks away with death of the year, the other continues their pursuit of glory. Genji and Madrid are sheep up. There's no way we're gonna we're gonna lose. So we I don't know if Sentinels fans are gonna like that or hate that. Tonight, Soul burns red! We have the draw show! You don't wanna go anywhere, stick with us, and on the other side, we find out how all of champions unfolds. From across the pond, we have Fnatic, Gen G, Leviathan, <laughs> EDG, DRX, FPX, EMEA's Vitality, G2, and that is gonna be Trace, Team Heretics. From right here, we got Crew, Paper X, our four remaining teams here Talon, yeah, Sentinels. <laughs> Sentinels fans are gonna like that or hate that. <laughs> Billy Billy Gaming. And last but not least, Foot Esports. All right, all right. Look at this here. Oh boy. That looks fun. Bro, this is rigged. You got yourself the Master Shanghai winners, Gen G, taking on the Masters Madrid winners in Sentinels. We're gonna potentially see two of these teams be gone. That means at least one of our Masters finalists won't even make it to playoffs. That's wild. That is wild. What a season. You couldn't have asked for a better way to kick things off here at Champion Soul. And we're finally here. So let's go ahead and kick off this bad boy with the biggest event of the year, Gen G versus Sentinels. Day one of Champion starts right now. Sentinels. No cam, no turret to catch that contact. Now the dash is active. They, they missed, missed the it. timing. Right behind, no, still. It's a bullet straight to the back. Now, potentially an opening for Sentinels. We'll attempt to slow this one down. They want to try and get rid of most of this util. There's a fault line to try and follow through Zekin. A lot in his face here still. Nothing to really shut them down. Meteor dodging a flash up and away. Looking snappy and magnetic into the moment. Still a TP forward. Sentinels not to be disallowed this. But pushing through the one way. It is Chaos Incarnate. Down to that 1v2. Munchkin gets the reload off, but there's only six left to him. He's got to do so much with it. What's the chances you run into the bucket? Yeah, I mean, Josh just be going down every day of the week. And so he does. An upgrade offered up. Handle to them, fault line into the corner as well. But you want to go into this one with the rolling thunder. It is committed, still has an orb and a snake bite in your face. After shock, now he avoided. Flick of the wrist, dodges the flash still. The reinforcements are here. This is the danger zone for Sentinels. You're walking straight into the maw, and it's only firepower. They're going to be able to bail yourself out. Texture can only do so much with that sheriff in hand. The plan has to be stuck down. Bullet spraying and praying away, but tens ready to lock it all down. Meteor dashing and back and away. Still with this B-side control. Texture, he's got straight past it. And in front of that fault line, still won't survive. He's with the trade there. Flash in and through, over the back, 4v4. Back down, Orofev gives him that information and a sight hold might be exactly what Genji are looking to cook up. Munchkin still without orb up in their face. Dart and a paranoia follows through, flood and back and away. Sight players cleared out, rolling thunder, committed now to the front. Sentinels have got to try and strike. At least when he irons hard and try and find these kills. There's one, two left to deal oh, with, finding them one after another. Nobody is allowed to anger this site. Well, Instead of an execute, the pit dropped out, man. And Tenz has got to make a play. He's already found it, whipping it around. Meteor, rifle in hand, leaving it to the two. And only the Blade Storm. A rifle for John QT. They're going to need to be handed a couple of easy kills, but Meteor will not give them anything at all. A 4K to finish up the map. Drone broken, slight tag, double faced up and out, but just missing the shot. Are they even going to get out? I don't know. The table on the three. Yeah. All three. All three. Time to hunt. It's time to chase. They know it. 
They can feel it. Texture. Time <laughs> waits out. Oh, oh boy. Barely skirting away. <laughs> it's going to be a comedic finish at around here, potentially. A punishment inside. There's still time here for Sentinels to make a play towards this one, but second retaken by the operator again adds another level of difficulty. It's all about how they manage this one as well. That late backstab that might be occurring from Meteor. Is it going to be caught? Zelsis sticking out onto the fuse half already. He's brought that wind con covering for it over the shoulder. Zelsis dropping him. <laughs> there is no way That's ridiculous. the Sentinels have just won a round where all three of the retakers got detained. Plan down now. Genji are ready. They've got the protocols in place just in case there are signs of that util. Meteor holding it tucked up close as well. There's a follow up again. Still up and over. Able to trade it. The door into their face and a full sight defense occurring here by Genji. Nobody looking to try and repurpose out crew A main. Everybody locked onto the sights here, but the one way they choose to fight this one, they want to hold it down. And again, this retake is getting more and more difficult. Dart immediately dealt with time is ticking away. Sentinels running out of those options. Double up, high low. Gonna try and push them back and away. Lucky last one left, and he will fall in the end. So, just in time here for Sentinels. Knives back out though for Zekken. Munchkin will fade away. Knives out, but back to the wall. Texture reveals his position. Three left available to work with, blinded up Meteor. He spots it, betrayed by the barrel. A 2-0 finish. Genji looking large and in charge, not slowing down from prior performances. FPX. It's our first elimination match of the day of the event. You got Sentinels and FPX. Paranoia goes out, life goes forward. They have a lot of space here. Yeah. The thing is they haven't dealt with, with the hookah presence that you were mentioning a couple of rounds ago. Yeah, and Sentinels, they're comfortable with this for that reason. There thrash comes the crunch. Oh, it's yeah. slow. There comes the thrash. There comes the crunch that you mentioned. And yeah, with the alarm bot at his feet. Mm -hmm. Slowed, sure, but it's really just delaying the inevitable. Oh my gosh, and the and the jiggle as well from Zelsis. He spotted all three members there. It's just easy pickums for John QT. Three on the round for the leader. Sassi's gonna clean up the last. Sentinels will get to 11. I mean, <laughs> Autumn has had to play against some of the most ridiculous plays we've seen in Valorant China. So he's gotta be ready for stuff like that. People finessing around smokes or even just running through them. They've got to understand that Hookah hasn't been cleared. Zelsis is here, and Lysor knows. But what can they do about him? Yes, this, this is tough. I mean, he's like a trap that's been laid. And it's almost like you know he's there. It's like itching in the back of your mind, but you can't really do anything about it. It's all going to be on timing. Meanwhile, Aeon falls. Zelsis on the swing, and now the threat has been realized. Lysor falls, 3v3. Op still in the hands of Autumn, but Berlin not around for long. Meanwhile, life only has 10 HP. John on the tap, the shot's not gonna connect. Zels is still playing up in Hookah, finally dealt with, finally dropped! But it's a Moroccan miracle, John gets four on the round, and the defuse comes through. Oh boy, he did something again. They've lost control of the spike, Sentinels have been thrown asunder, but Tens has his ult. Mm -hmm. Able to scoop that thing up, and now it's a mad dash towards A, a mad dash towards Autumn with the op. Mm -hmm. Does the Viper wall go back up? Does John have enough gas? There it is, now coming back. A, a, a lack of communication on FPX. They should have told Autumn that the Omen ultimate was committed to grab the spike, but he was worried the whole time that he, he was getting flanked. Autumn not able to find the first shot. You mentioned how good he's been under pressure, and there's all of it building up to him now, and he crumbles underneath it. Tens committing to getting the spike down. The Thrash invested. Ion trying to find anything that he can. They've got a numbers advantage here. Can they convert this into a round win? Can they keep their year alive? Utility over the spike as FPX now pushing their way forward. Zels is holding line, only able to find one though. As Tens on the spam, connecting onto the second with John QT over his shoulder. A 2v2. 
Spike ticking away, time is short. Can John do it on his own? He's gotten it down to one. The spam, pre connecting, and it will be the Red Bull clutch for John QT. Sen City stays alive as they take down FPX. Sentinels, they have found their form, they have found their confidence again. This should be a clash of titans. We're gifted with yet another banger. Our two global winners from 2024 will collide on this stage one more time. The difference today, though, is that one walks away with death of the year, the other continues their pursuit of glory. Munchkin needs to be careful right here. If he gets carried out, yeah, that showstopper's gonna do the damage. And the thing is here, if you're Sentinels, you don't have to fully commit to this. Mm -hmm. It seems like they might, though. Tens is already TP'd all the way across. You've got everything back sight. Mowing over Gen G. An absolute firing squad that Texture just ran into. I mean, he swings and it's the most terrifying thing you could imagine. It was diabolical. A couple of days ago, this was the Sentinels that was missing, missing in the opening match of this tournament. Yeah, missing in stage two, honestly. Even in the playoff, they barely squeaked in. Salsis gets the quick trade, securing the round. And do you still opt to clear out that very, very close corner on Zekin after you use that? I guess somebody could have sneaked in. This cross is crazy, but Saucy was the backup. He was the reinforcement. So Paranoia is out. It's going to tag up Zekin as well. It's oh. just buying time. Wow. With the nade out, still manages to get one. But Karen on the equalizer. Salsis now aggressive with the Spectre upgraded in the hands of Munchkin. Can he hold the line? Finding all three. Down a. Meteors Marshall. Finally, besting him. 30 seconds left. But he's now left in a 1v2, upgrading to a Vandal. No armor. Challenged in the smoke. Challenged in the map. That little off angle here in the spray down. He knew he had to do this. If you give them the sight, if they are able to upgrade, all of a sudden your chances of winning are drastically lowered. Hey, I mean, look at him. They ain't laughing the now, buddy. Even if they are, I mean, it's, it's so tough. He's ahead of this Viper so Oh my gosh. Running. What was that peak from second, though? Instas, and they're just gonna run through the door like they have been this entire time. Perpendicular walls keeping these two teams apart as they, one of them goes down. Munchkin gets ahead of it. Second on the jump spot, they understand run. the threat that's on the other side, and now they decide to wait it out. They're beckoning the fight to come to them. Either you wait out the left. lockdown, or you fight us. It got spammed! And now Texture, not able to hold the line, not able to keep up the resistance. The pit invested Munchkin trying to trace over. Snaps back onto Munchkin. Or on Sassy, excuse me, but Meteor's left alone. Sentinels get to seven. Nice Those bullet! Oh, oh, John, wait, look! <laughs> Who knows? I what, don't know what they were looking it was at. Probably but. flashing the bundle or something. I don't know. Seven five. Mm -hmm. And it's just enough of noise. It's just enough of a distraction. Very nicely done by Chen Ji, but Zelsa is still holding the line on the other side. That's now two bodies found. The swing of the classic will not betray him. Back-to-back back three Ks for the Vibe Merchant himself. He played that to near perfection. I mean, he really did. And now Tether Nade. I mean, yeah, the spike gets planted. Oh, it doesn't even get planted. Oh. I mean, almost everyone is here. Both Paranoia's trade and Texture's what? down. Raid Bounce falls. And now the ult popped. But it looks like it's a little short. And so both teams refusing to relent on this area of the map. But Zekin there. looking to take us to Icebox. And barring a miracle for Meteor, that's exactly where we're headed. Genji decided to take the fight where Sentinels have succeeded this entire half. And it was ill advised. Wow. 13 9. Oh, good damage done on the tens and saucy. Make sure I find the timing here, just like he did on Pistol, but Zekin, he's so ready for it. And if he continues to be able to get the best of Texture throughout the entire map, that's a really good sign again, but Whoa. if it's not Texture, it's Meteor. If it's not Meteor, it's Munchkin. It's gonna have to be Karon this time. Sassy looking for the target, Karon's gonna find him. Zelsis is on this late flank. And now, Zelsis will understand. Spike planted. That Karen's out. He's planted towards B, and now the gunfight begins. All of these minor pieces, all of these minor movements, and here, Karen taking a step back. His Elsix continues to push forward. He has a turret. He has an alarm bot, but no real way to utilize either of those. He's got so much to clear as well. And I think part of the problem is Karen has no idea where Zelsis is coming from either. So it's a guessing game for both. The 50-50. 
Karen's on the swing. Can't hit the shot to 10 HP. Delsis. Doesn't matter how we did it, it's that we did it, baby. <laughs> and the truth is. He's hunting for it, but it looks like Sen have something cooked up. A little pop flash play, perhaps. Will he find a target? He's taking the line. Nothing oh, found gosh. yet. Look at this from Sen. This freeze is crazy, but the problem is they're on the clock. You can't stay in this state forever. Look at the mini-map. Just biding their time. It's a free B site right now. Second with a massive shot. The op is down. Locky and Munchkin with two ults. Rotating back B, and there it is, the first popped. Saucy managing to get the spike down, though, as tens. Back site, plucking one down, trying to turn the flash. Succeeds, but dies. Now numbers still the way of Sentinels. With the spike down, John QT looks to get away. A couple of parting shots, his threats as Lakia falls. Munchkin on his own, a 1v3. He's gotten it down to one. A 1v1, can Munchkin deliver? Perhaps the biggest 1v1 of his career. The tap, there, the swing. But Zelsis walks out on top. Sentinels get to series point. That desperation can be a fine line though. I mean, look at the mini map. From the start of the game, it was three players towards A, a shift towards mid now. There was a dagger used. Texture's gonna be called upon to deliver. <laughs> the, hour, the hour has struck. Can he arrive? No! Saucy overwhelms him. With the rest of Sentinels behind him, they push forward, looking to take A. Can Karen hold the line? The flash in his face, he will crumble too. Now just one rifle up for Genji. Hopes and dreams of a year. Potentially falling short right now. Yes, they raised the trophy in Shanghai. But it would have been so much sweeter to do so in front of a home crowd. But now, Locky and Munchkin doing their best to keep this thing up, to keep it competitive. They're gonna have to navigate the pit. Every single member crumbling tonight. Soul burns red! Sentinels survive! But it's Sentinels who come out on top. Nothing but love between the two players, between the two squads, as you can see on your screens. A lot of respect. Oh, a ton. From the coaching staff to the players, from top to bottom. Well, you can always count on Zelsis to add weather yeah. a moment. What a performance, man. It was ridiculous. We said it in the last match against FPX. Once this team gets momentum, they're full steam forward, full train ahead. They're an unbelievably rehearsed squad. Well, and the thing is, I think for, for Sentinels, as you think about stage two and you think about playoffs, for most of stage two, we thought, okay, Sentinels are peaking at the right time. Yeah. They're gonna head into champs and they're gonna head into champs strong, confident. They have a chance to make a run.